And yo, so Ducky now has a hot swap keyboard now. Yes, 2020 has been full of surprises, but this one's actually a pleasant surprise. And it comes in the form of their Year of the Rat 60% special edition keyboard. The artwork was done in collaboration with the Taiwanese graffiti artist Bounce, and they've created this new bounce mouse for this keyboard. Now the unboxing experience is what impressed me the most. It reminds me of a custom keyboard experience, something reminiscent of like a $700 keyboard that you would get. So you're not just paying for a $200 Ducky one too many. No, 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 no. You get some extras here. You could tell Ducky is trying to seduce you into loving hot swap. Hold on Ducky buy me dinner first in the box you'll find a hot swappable switch holder with a keycap so if you want to try out some switches in the future you can do that before throwing it into the keyboard and fully committing they now have a switch puller that doubles as a keycap puller although i wouldn't use this as a keycap puller because these little hard plastic ones usually scratch up your keycaps instead i would use the other one that they include in the box which is the wire version this one is in a lime green and it follows along with the overarching theme of the keyboard which is this green theme and then they've got three ABS shine through keycaps in there as well if you want to change it out. It's got a black USB-C cable and here I feel like they could have made like a lime green one that would have been really cool to see just to go along with the whole custom experience that they're giving you here. But then they added a desk mat on here as well with the balance mouse on it. This is a slick cloth pad similar to a Thor but kind of a step down in speed. It's definitely a step up from a QCK. I played with it for about a week or so and I was popping the F off with it. I like that they didn't just throw a piece of cloth into the box and call it a day they actually made it pretty usable for gaming because they know most of us that are going to be using their keyboards are gamers the keyboard has the bounce mouse drawings all over it it's on the back it's on the bottom it's on the space very cool graffiti designs here now if you're thinking this was just going to be another special edition ducky went too many you're wrong they've changed the design of the case as well on the side it's more of an etched look giving more of that custom design this is almost like a plastic custom i definitely prefer this design over the two-tone look that they use with the ducky one too many the original one i hope that they carry this design over into the next year with the ducky one three mini next year I think that's what they're gonna call it. Also, they changed the plate on the bottom of the keyboard with the serial numbers from a silver to a gold. I love the look of this. Like I said, it's just giving me those custom vibes over and over again throughout the entire design of the keyboard. They really want you to feel like you're getting something special and custom here. And they're giving you a serial keyboard as well. I got lucky number 777 and they're making 2020 of them. The three level kickstand feed make its way again onto this board as well. You love to see that. They've also made an indentation for the USB USB-C slot, like a custom. Uh, it looks kind of like a tofu look. Now, I really like the whole aesthetic of this keyboard. It is overwhelmingly green though, so if you buy this keyboard, you know what you're getting yourself into. You're getting a green board, so make sure you really love this design because it's going to look off if you try to switch out some keycaps for a different color. This keyboard is something that you're gonna wanna keep stock. The PPT is that same smooth PPT that we've seen on their older Ducky keyboard keycaps. And they have this new graffiti font on there, something new, something different, but one thing's for sure, a Ducky always nails the texture and durability of their keycaps. Now removing the keycaps, they have a silver plate now instead of a white plate like on the old one. I find that the silver one doesn't bounce as much light as the white one, that's to be expected. The old one is definitely brighter there. And since the keycaps aren't shine through, you're losing a lot of the light compared to the older ones with the shine through PBT keycaps. So if you're an RGB fan, uh, if it's high up on your list, you might wanna look elsewhere. Now they've also given us some Cherry MX blue switches. I'm not going to make you guys listen to another Cherry MX blue sound test. Don't worry, we're going to put in some nice looped filmed alpacas with some Crytox 205 grade zero loop, and we're going to put them into this case. So why Hot Swap is so huge is that before you'd have to buy Ducky 1-2 Minis over and over again if you didn't know what switch you like. So let's say one month you got Cherry MX Red and you decide that you don't like them, you're kind of stuck. Or you have to spend another $100 to get Cherry MX Blues or Browns or whatever you like. But now it's just a one-time fee of $200 and you can just buy switches on your own to put into this keyboard. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is before you couldn't remove the clip-in stabilizers, but now you can since this is hot swap and they are lubed. But I find with Ducky keyboards, they sound good out of the box with like a stock Cherry MX switch. But once you throw in some switches into the keyboard, your own, it gets exposed. I saw this in my other video where I modded my Ducky Mecha Mini. This one is no different. Let's drop the sound test so you guys can hear what this keyboard sounds like.
Now you can see the space bar is in shambles. It's not good. The right shift, it's on its way there to meet the space bar. The enter key, the backspace, and the left shift are actually pretty decently and they seem to hold up even after I switched out the switches. The alpacas are a little bit higher pitched, but I noticed with both the Cherry MX Blues and the alpacas that there is kind of a pingy sound in the case, probably due to the new silver plate. It doesn't sound as muted as the old white plate that they had in there before. Also worth mentioning is they also changed out the PCB in the past. They had a lot of issues with chattering, key chatter. My first ducky had it when I'd press one button and then I'd get like 50 of them popping up all at once. And they tried to fix it with firmware and it actually did get fixed, but I know a lot of your guys didn't get fixed. So I like that they are actually making a whole new PCB for this keyboard and hopefully they bring that over into the next edition of the ducky one three mini or one two two mini or whatever it's called also worth noting is once you put in these switches without a clear top you're losing even more rgb and combine that with the keycaps the silver plate which isn't as bright you're not going to be getting much light out of this keyboard it does however show a lot around the space bar but they just have like the similar like rainbow effects waves reactive modes and all that good stuff all right so this keyboard is 200 dollars. it's a special edition keyboard it's hot swap i personally really like to look at the keyboard even though i'm not a really a green person or a huge green person and since i can't really change the theme of the entire keyboard and i can't really change the theme by switching out the keycaps i'll probably just leave this one stock and just appreciate it for what it is maybe you have a ducky one too many you just want that special edition keyboard you want something to show your friends or maybe you just want a ducky that's hot swap and you don't really care about the color at all so you know what why not why not pick this one up i know they've sold some already but i do believe they are going to be making some more they did make 2020 of them but i hear they're going to be selling some near the end of the month or the beginning of the year i will keep you guys updated so if you aren't already follow me on instagram and twitter so yeah that's going to do it for the first ducky hot swap keyboard excited to see what they bring over to the new duckies that are coming in the next year uh are you guys excited for this keyboard are you excited for a ducky one too many are you looking for a custom let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh so yeah you're the rat edition by bounce looks sick i hope you guys have enjoyed this don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out and i will see you in the next one peace